Hello Scorpios, this is your reading for the 28th through the 29th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. Let's see, what messages do Scorpios need to hear and love for the 28th through the 29th? Please show me messages and love for Scorpio. Please show me. Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are just working really hard, but you're trying to keep your family together. Um, I feel you working hard to try to keep uh, a home that has security and stability financially um, here. Okay? Maybe even a relationship you guys are working on to try to uh, maintain, you know, this level of commitment and stability in. Five of Cups there. Feeling very hurt, feeling regretful surrounding something involving a home for some of you. Um... Some of you are hurt regarding a relationship, a long-term relationship. Let's see what else we've got here. The Eight of Swords. There's something that's really bothering you guys, I feel. Like you can't stop thinking about, you can't, you, you can't see clearly, um, and, and this hurts you regarding either, you know, this home situation or a very committed long-term relationship or even a marriage. Hmm. What else? Yes, yeah, feeling very foolish surrounding something here. Something you feel foolish surrounding. Um. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got. Please show me more about this Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on there. Please show me more about this Ten of Pentacles. The moon. Something's not clear to you. Something's not clear to you about whether or not this is truly going to be a situation that is, is secure and stable, something that's going to be long lasting. Something's very um, unclear to you. You're questioning whether the stability of the relationship um, will be, will endure, okay? Please show me more about the Five of Cups here. The Knight of Wands. Yeah. This is all about, I feel, a relationship and whether or not um, somebody's going to be all in or whether they're in it just to have sex and just like, you know, run off. Um, And, and that really concerns you guys because you don't want to make a mistake and feel foolish. You want to see things clearly for what they really are. Is this a long-term relationship? Is this person serious about me? Do they really want commitment? Do they really want to grow with me? Or do they just want to hit it and leave? And that's got you feeling very sad um, and worried because it's really not clear to you at this point. Please show me more about the Eight of Swords. Please show me more about the Eight of Swords. The Chariot. Yeah, because you definitely don't want to be foolish. You definitely want to be able to recognize um, some actions that you feel like are not, you know, for your higher good. Um, you want to be able to recognize if somebody's trying to pull something over your eyes. Because your main your main goal is to secure your house of partnership, um, which is the seventh house. 
the chariot is number seven so you definitely want to be successful in this realm of having a committed relationship a long-term relationship here okay that's concerning for you please show me more about the fool the three of cups you don't want to be one of many you don't want this just to be a dating situation, um, a situation where people are just having a good time. You want this to actually go somewhere. You want this to actually go somewhere here. And that is what's bothering you guys right now, I feel. Okay? So let me, let me scoot this over and we'll see, you know, what energy is coming in for you guys here. Let's see. Let me go ahead and do this one. What energy is coming in for Scorpio? What energy is coming in for Scorpio? What energy is coming in for Scorpio? Ten of Cups. I see a lot of happiness. I see a committed relationship. One that is definitely, you know, fulfilling emotionally here, okay? The Three of Swords. But definitely some disappointment. Some disappointment here. It may be a situation where there is um, a, a third party influence. Um, doesn't mean that it it's, has to be intimate. But definitely I feel a third party influence that um, interferes with this happiness, this relationship. Now, this, this definitely could be um, you're overactive or, you know, you guys worrying so much, you know, putting a strain on the relationship. Could definitely be. The disappointment could be that you guys are thinking so heavily about this that you really start to feel that, you know, this person's not in it to win it. Okay. But most definitely, it could be also a third party um, influence. Okay. Family members, um, friends, something like that. But, um, I see heartache, disappointment surrounding this uh, connection here. Okay. Why is this happening? Death. It's your card. I, you know, I'm just getting that you guys probably, you know, you vacate this situation before any of this can transpire before somebody can actually hurt you. It's what I'm getting. The Page of Cups. Because you can't help but think about, you know, this person may not be serious. This person may just be wanting to, like, date me. They're not serious about me. And so it's like, you guys in this situation or you in this three-party situation before it actually gets to a point where you are actually involved in something that you are fearing which is an intimate third-party relationship okay But I, I feel that somebody is really, you know, trying to head that off. Um, I feel like somebody is really trying to reassure um, you guys here. Okay? So, I see Aquarius, Pisces, um, Cancers here, Aries, Gemini, maybe Leo, Sagittarius as well. And Virgo energies here. 
Okay, guys? So that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys 